Hey guys, like nobody's help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few iPhone tips and tricks you probably did not know your iPhone could do. Now I like to share these at least once a month because you guys really seem to enjoy these videos. So here's another one. Now the first thing I want to talk about in this video is an app that you probably never use on your iPhone and that is the measures application. This application of course helps you measure things using AI, but there's also a lever here. This one allows you to make sure things are lever out. So if you have a frame or a picture that you're trying to put up on the wall, you can place it on top of the frame. And once it turns green, it means it's leveled. Now it also features a surface level as well. So if for surface, you want to place your iPhones on a surface like this, make sure it is green. And that means your surface is will be leveled out as well, whether it's a table or whatever it is, uh, you can level that out as well with the measures application. Another thing I wanna share with you guys or another tip is within the text on your iPhone. So for example, if I go into the messages application here and I type, let's say love, you see that the word love will get replaced with that love emoji or the heart emoji. That is text replacement and you can replace text with any emoji by going to general keyboard text replacement and add a text phrase so for example if i want the lol for the laughing emoji i can do that then on the options right here click lol or type lol and now every time i type lol it'll replace it with the laughing emoji that's also a pretty cool shortcut pretty cool trick there for text replacement with emojis now another thing i want to share with you guys is multi screenshot not many users know you can go into the uh, screenshots here and take multiple screenshots so one two and just keep going and you can go ahead and edit those screenshots all together at once. You don't have to necessarily just take a screenshot, edit it, take another screenshot or edit. You can also, of course, share these screenshots with one single click and let me explain myself here. So I'm gonna throw this one out. Let's take a screenshot here. If we wanna share that screenshot quickly, tap and hold on the screenshot and you get the share options quickly there. You don't have to tap into the screenshot, tap share, and get to the share options. Again, all you have to do is take a screenshot, tap and hold on the screenshot, and this will give you the share sheet or the share options. You can also do other things as well. So really cool shortcut there to help you get a better user experience overall. And last but not least, I wanna share with you guys a really cool trick on how to listen YouTube videos in the background. So let's say you're in YouTube, right? You're watching a video here, and you're trying to listen to this video in the background. So let's go ahead and wait for this ad to disappear here. Click away. You can hear the video, but if we close it out, the video goes away. You can't really hear it, right? So there's a cool replacement for that. Let me go ahead and show you. If we go into Safari and we're on YouTube here and we click on the video that we want to watch, then we tap and hold on these letters on the top here and then we request the desktop version just like that. Once we request the desktop version, you can click play on the video. Here we go. So once the ad is over, I'm gonna show you how this works here. So here we go, the video is now playing. I can now quit the video, click play on the control center, and it will continue to play, right? You can also listen to it in the lock screen here. Now you can listen to YouTube videos in the background. Again, that's simply tapping up here and requesting the desktop version and watching YouTube videos on YouTube and you'll be able to listen to them in the background on your iPhone. And there you guys have it. These were a few tips and tricks you probably didn't know your iPhone can do. Let me know what you think about these in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you real soon. Peace.